This is my actual 2 bay NAS. It's from Synology with fascinating 256 MB of RAM and a 800 MHz single core CPU. And this, uh, not this, this is the AS6704T Locker Store 4 Gen 2 from ASUS Tech. But before I go deeper into the features in today's video, I will show you how to install two new RAM modules, four NVMe SSDs and four 14 terabytes hard disk drive. Let's get in! Welcome! As I mentioned in my last video, I'd like to upgrade my little home NAS after some comparison between Synology and ASUS Store and my own needs. My choice felt on the Locker Store for Gen 2 from ASUS Tech. ASUS Tech is not other than a subsidiary uh, company from ASUS. Uh, the name is a mix of ASUS and Storage. Without further ado, let's go. You will only need one screwdriver, so remove these three screws to take off the side panel. If you just want to add a second RAM module, you can add one behind this little plastic cover. Seven more screws to get into the NAS. And we have to do this because we want to replace the first RAM module too. But before you can remove the back panel, you have to unplug the system fan. Asus uses a 120mm fan for cooling. The SATA board for the drive is screwed in with only one screw and can easily be pulled out. The NVMe board for the M.2 drives are fastened with two screws and can also be pulled out like the SATA board. You have space for up to four M.2 drives. Unplug the cable for the front panel and the last four screws. By the way, if you want to install an optional 10 gigabit extension card, you will lose the M.2 board and all their drives. The locker store is powered by a 10 nanometer quad core Intel Celeron with a base clock of 2 GHz, which can be boosted up to 2.8 GHz. 4 GB DDR4 RAM are pre installed and the maximum supported capacity are 16 GB. I will use the Kingston Fury 16 GB kit. It has 2666 mega transfers per second, a latency of CL15, and they are also quite cheap by the time being. Now let's put the mainboard back in the case and screw it down. Followed by the M.2 board and don't forget the connector for the front panel. The 1TB Crucial P3 has a very good power efficiency and draws only 2.25 watts on average. All M.2 drives can be installed to this, which comes in handy. Well, after upgrading some older drives in my PC, I had two 1TB XPG SSDs left. And here we go, two additional drives. Almost finished, put back the SATA board. And now the back panel with the fan. And of course, don't forget the fan connector, else the system will have a bad time. Yeah, I know. There could be more interesting stuff as showing you all the screws, but hey, here comes the side panel. Okay, a few more, at least for the case. Sorry. I will use the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro with 14 terabyte, and yes, you will may guess it. The last screws. I promise. Above the hard drives is a small display and four buttons. You are able to set an IP, restart the NAS or initialize a backup without the need to sit in front of your computer. That's pretty nice. If you use your NAS as a media server in your living room, ASUS Store offers an optional remote. On the back side there are two 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, 5 gigabit with link aggregation, a HDMI 2.B port which supports a resolution up to 4K60, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports with 10 gigabits per second, 
one on the back and one on the front. Oh, and I forgot to mention a Kensington lock on the back side. And now, start the engine! <laughs> Via the ASUS control center, you can easily see the status of the NAS and you can connect to it by clicking on the connect button. Agree to the terms and conditions. I'll choose the custom setup here. Give your NAS any name. Enter an account name and choose a password. The combination admin admin is not allowed here. So choose a wise and strong password. I recommend any kind of password manager like Keepers. Enter your time zone and choose your date and time format. If your switch or router at home supports link accuration, then you can choose this option to achieve up to 5 gigabit a second network speed. Else, leave this to default. Now, every disk should be listed here, and you can set your rate configuration. ASUS Store offers a variety of possible rate levels. I'll choose rate 5. BTRFS is my choice for the file system because of its ability to create snapshots. But don't confuse snapshots with backups, they are two different mechanics. Select your hard drives and confirm the checkbox at the bottom of the page. Then the initialization of the NAS begins. If you register your NAS, you will reach your NAS via the internet easily without the hassle to configure a Dune DNS. Typically, the ports 8000 and 8001 are set by default. Change them to any other port you want. Thereafter, it will reroute you automatically and shows the quick start guide. Let's check if my all-in-one RAM upgrade is recognized correctly. Open system information and... Woo! It works! 16 GB! As Pertus tip, to enter the BIOS, plug in a keyboard and monitor and press F5 after the boot logo. The storage manager shows an overview of all your drives, volume information and smart information too. At the moment, it is still synchronizing which can take a while for almost 40 TB. To enable the read and write cache for the drives, click on management and SSD caching. Click read and write and the checkbox below. For this option you have to install at least two M.2 SSDs. Press next and choose your SSDs. And next again. Attention for every gigabyte of SSD caching, the system requires about half a megabyte of RAM. After that, confirm your choice. Back in the storage manager, under the point volume, the lettering SSD is shown. And voila, the caching is active. Apps like Docker, Portana, Home Assistant, Plex and many many more can be found under App Central. The locker store for Gen 2 costs about 30 euros at the time being. I am happy with my new NAS and ASUS Store has delivered a solid little home server, which is versatile in many ways. Regardless of whether you need a media server or you want to use some Docker containers or just a simple backup tool. The Locker Store for Gen 2 has you covered. And of course I need some cover too. So subscribe, hit the bell and let me know in the comments which purpose has your NAS. See you next time. Bye. Psst. I still have an eye on a new Apple product to dive into a completely new world for me. So stay tuned.